trying to make this roster. Let's start this one with a handoff to Travion Williams. Shakes a tackle in the backfield and gets a couple as he moves it out to about an hour. There's a late flag. Thanks, AJ. Have you ever heard a coach say, I'm completely and totally happy with the way my team is performing right now? That just doesn't happen. This is Travion Williams, and we get another penalty flag. Fun fact, Greg. Welcome back. Kyle Schirmer just completed the pass to Trent Taylor. It is now second and 18. And once again, Travion Williams in the backfield as the Bengals try to work their way out of a little bit of a hole. Schirmer over the middle and found his man at the 35-yard line. That is complete to Thaddeus Moss. The tight ends. That's been lacking here for a couple years. That pass is complete across the 45 and out of bounds is Stanley Morgan. <laughs> uh, Touche. <laughs> so a little play change at the line. And the give is to Williams. And Williams to midfield. Wait, looking you know, I got a chance. I played against Randy Moss. Yeah. Uh, as good in person as he is on TV, I can tell you that. But and you kept up with him every step of the way. Every every, every step. step. Yeah. I, I think I, I I locked him. I don't think I allowed a catch. Wow. How about respect <laughs> for being in this booth with you? Just trying something a little different. I bring panache, you bring whiskers. Yes. And pass to the outside, and that is complete, but not for very much before. Travion Williams is forced out of bounds. What do you I think? Just, Should I keep? Well, I don't know. I just thought Gillette was on strike or something. Yeah, well, look, I, I <laughs> listen, this is about four. Maybe she just doesn't have the heart to tell me. Fourth and three. And a quick pass on the inside, popped up into the air and caught. <laughs> Trent Taylor. Breaking tackles inside the five into the one. Give it to Patrick. To the end zone for the touchdown. And the Bengals are back on top. And this one will sail through the end zone, and the Dolphins will start at their own 25-yard line. And we're just happy to be able to come out here and showcase what we got going. I'm sure you heard the phrase, name a better duo. And everybody's been talking about Joe and Jamar, Tua and Jalen. But let's talk about you and Frank Pollock. And I'm coming through like finishing every run. Percent. And, you know, all them yards that we got, just go ahead and try to make them all count. You starting a new band, boy band behind us here? Yeah, I don't know what they got going. I know you talk started, to though, the nickname, the Fab Five for your... You know, excite the community, get them get to give back, to be honest, and then come out here and put on a show for them. You're certainly putting on a show with your backup dancers today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing the backup role. Yeah. On second and ten. That's Jared Dokes going nowhere on this one. Well, Greg, to me, there is no question that, you know, the success of this offense, the passing game should be pretty good, but it's... It's what happens up front. I think low. But if they can really get that running game going and those offensive linemen, well, that'll open up this offense and take it to a much different level. So that, to me, is the key. Senate had it dropped by Hunter Long. And for the Bengals, when he is healthy, Joe Mixon is as tough as anybody out there. Yep, and it's pretty amazing. Look. When you look at his stats, the fact that he didn't play after week six and still led the Bengals with, you know, 400 and change yards, that is an eye-popping stat. And he gets back to that 2018, 2019, that form, and they can protect Burrow. They've got a nice group, That's a nice young core of players that they can build this offense around. Trent Taylor makes the catch and is hit immediately at the 11 yard line and that's where he is down well aj was talking Sherman, you coming this way is taylor and Trent taylor runs out of bounds well, it rained hard here this morning but it is that was patrick in the backfield on second and six play fake to him Sherman throws he completes it and making the first down 
is Thaddeus Moss. So there are a fair number of youngins. A couple of tough defenses if you're Chicago. And you know Fields is going to go through some growing pains, right? Do you take him now or do you take him later? I think that's the one, the real, real tough. Be really sure. Well, you know he's going to have growing pains, right? Sure. So there's a chance. You know, if you're Matt Nagy, that it's going to take him a month or five weeks or six weeks or whatever, and then all of a sudden you find yourself out of it. You know, maybe if you play Andy Dalton, you win two or three of those games and you still find yourself in contention. So when do you take your medicine? You take it now? And you still have or a chance. Or do you take it later? And you still have right? a chance to groom your young quarterback if you're winning a couple of games here and there. But then I also believe that, look, if you've got your guy, you've got to throw him in there and let him play. So he's shown some really special things in the preseason. But to me, that that's a tough, tough decision if you're Matt Nagy on, on, on which way to go because it's almost a, you almost can't win in that situation. Shermer is wrapped up at the 33-yard line by Jason Strobridge. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way that you can... Do you just say, hey, the kid's got to play? A la Tua a season ago. Yeah, false start. And Ryan Fitzpatrick was playing really good quarterback. Five-yard penalty for the Miami Second Dolphins down. at the time. It is, yeah. It really changes the way you go about playing defense. You know, it's somebody that you got to account for. So if Joe Jones is ready and he shows it, I think it's going to be Cam Newton's job. And it's not that Cam has looked horrible. Cam has looked pretty good. Until he missed five days. Yeah. Uh, Jamal Perry had this one and lost it. Back to about the 37-yard line goes Jacquez Patrick. And that'll bring on the punting unit. One but two offensive coordinators. The co-offensive coordinators for this upcoming season. Malcolm Perry. And let it bounce. And it's bounced out of bounds. And it'll be spotted at the six-yard line. We'll take a break.